At last, you have restored all of the menorahs to their rightful places. I promised earlier that I would answer all of your questions, sparing no detail. It may have occurred to you that the menorahs were not, in fact, stolen. In truth, my master gave them to those whom he deemed worthy. I must apologize for not being honest with you, but there is a reason. If you listen to what I have to say, I am sure you will understand. The forces of light and darkness have fought throughout the universe, even beyond the flow of time. Their battles have affected every living being in existence. Demons and humans are no exception. They have simply been cogwheels in the infernal machine called war. And the war still rages on, even as we speak. However, one individual vowed to put an end to this eternal war. He decided to create a demon of chaos, one that would inherit his will and enter the final battle against the forces of light. The fiends were prepared for the creation of that demon. He believed that by challenging and overcoming death, the demon would become the fruit of destruction, the black hope that we had awaited for so long. That is what he and my master planned. The fiends and the labyrinth of Amala were ordeals meant to test you. One fiend challenged you, unaware of the truth, while another fiend fell to you, dreaming of a future of chaos. Yes. This was all in preparation for the final battle. You have vanquished all the fiends, and now here you stand, just as he hoped. A demon with the strength to become the champion of chaos. So, will you lend your strength to us, for the sake of all who live in darkness? I cannot force you to help us. If you choose to walk the path of a human, then there is no need for you to return here. But, if you have doubts about the laws of the universe, about fate, or the providence of the Absolute One, then you should come to us at the very bottom of the labyrinth. There, you shall be born again as a full demon, body and soul. Let me conclude by telling you about a human who has crossed your path. One who is drifting, being kept alive by fate. It is my master's wish that you listen before deciding upon a path to take. The man I am referring to was known as Hijiri in your previous world. He died, but as fate would have it, he carried on in the Vortex world. Think back to when you first met him, to when the conception occurred. Hijiri shared the fate of all the others who perished in the dawning chaos. As he was heading to the hospital where you already were, the conception began and his life ended. Did it not seem odd to you that he was in the Vortex world, unaffected, unchanged? It was all because of the mortal sin which he committed. He was a being toyed with by fate, denied the respite of death, and condemned to carry the burden of atonement forever. His punishment was to see with his own eyes all that happens in the world, to record the balance of events through all the ages. A task as endless as scooping water out of the sea with a cup, he was condemned to wander the infinite span of time. Man can change the course of his next life 
by virtue of his karma. But that privilege was taken away from Hijiri. Though his body may perish, his soul will remain unsaved. He must continue on with his task. He lives a cursed, eternal life, just like a demon. Watch and record the history of the world. Witness the entirety of the endless war between order and chaos. That is your punishment for your unforgivable sin. Do you understand now? By the will of Amala, he was given a life of torment, and emerged in the Vortex world without realizing that he had died. Soon after, your paths crossed again. That is probably because you have the potential to affect the course of the new world. So by accompanying you, he has unknowingly been fulfilling his destiny. Tragically, he has no memory of his sin, his punishment, or even his death. He believes that he survived the conception, and has acted accordingly. As for the results of his efforts, you already know the outcome. In the body of a mannequin, Hijiri challenged those vying for creation. And he lost his body once again. He is now on a journey to a new land of suffering. But his will can never be freed, and his sin never redeemed. Do you want your life to be predestined as well? Or would you rather choose your own actions? If you do not wish to be ruled by destiny, if you would prefer to walk with demons on a new, untrodden path, then please, come visit my master. You can open the door ahead with the menorah I gave you. Will you come meet my master? Then, we will be waiting in the deepest part of the labyrinth. I will open the way to the last door. Please use the menorah and come see us. We look forward to seeing you soon. Until then... in your soul, that you have chosen to disregard my warning. You are beyond the point of redemption. I cannot turn a blind eye to the fallen angel's abominable plan to foster the birth of a new demon. the labyrinth of a month is just as grave a sin. Listen, fiend, foul demon whose soul is tainted with darkness. Listen and tremble in fear. I am Metatron. I am one with God. By his divine will, I shall destroy you. Feel the wrath of God, disciple of darkness! Ah! <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> 
You are here at last. We have long awaited this moment in the everlasting flow of Amala. You have retrieved all of the menorahs and triumphed over the mightiest warrior of light. You are the demon that we have been waiting for. The demons are celebrating the birth of the new demon of darkness, hoping that you and the fallen angel will break their chains and defeat the Absolute One. There is no turning back. 
We, the ones cast into darkness, shall face those that live in the light. The final battle is about to begin. But first, you must return to your world and increase your strength. By defeating the humans who are vying for control. And Kagutsuchi, the source of creation. A man who envisions a world of silence. Ariman, god of the void, lends him strength. A young woman who values power above all else. The god Baal Avatar has descended upon her. A young man yearning to live in solitude. His strength comes from Noah, the Wandering God. And Kagutsuchi, the light that watches over the Vortex world, as well as creation. When you have defeated those foes, you will be accepted and honored by us all. My master would like to help you prepare for the forthcoming battles by sharing a portion of his strength. He shall release the hidden power of the Magatama that you have received. You, who have cast away your human form, and as a fiend, conquered all deaths. You were given the body of a demon when you entered the Vortex world. And now, it is time for you to receive the heart of a demon, as my master wishes. You shall be born again, as a demon of chaos, harbinger of the final battle. bears our strength and hope. May you forever prevail.